What up, YouTube, and welcome to the Lemon Jeffrey and Week 9 of Rise Flower Grow. All right, we're here in the 4x2 Vival Sun Tent. This week, I did get some... Uh, new nutrients that I got a sample pack of in the mail so I uh, this plant was watered with it this plant was watered with it and I think that one and the rest I didn't didn't get it yet so it's a a new nutrient for the grow I'm gonna try finishing these Lemon Jeffries out and these other plants with it. I'm going to see if it makes any difference from uh, using the general organics. So, uh, what I did get was this sample pack of nectar for the gods. See, free samples. And uh, we're going to try these nutrients. We got Medusa's Magic. They all got the nice picture on the front. But you, And that little free sample label just peels right off. I just never peeled it off yet. But uh, I got them the other way so you can read it. You got Medusa's Magic, Gaia Mania, Athena's Aminas, Detmer's Destiny, Herculean Harvest and Zeus Juice. And then it comes with some Bloom Chaos, which you make into a foliar feed by putting it in like a quart of water and using it for a foliar spray till it gets to a certain point. And then you put it in with the watering. So, and then it's got, it comes with Olympus Up, pH Up. I suppose I could turn the bottles around for you to. This one's the Bloom Chaos Foliar Feed. Zeus Juice. I got to get them free samples labels off. And then I'll show you guys. But right now I don't have anything going in this tent. This tent's shut down for a little bit. Since I'm starting to got, get things going again. And I got these plants here. I do know, notice that they're nice and greened up since I watered them with the nectar for the gods. See the difference? I don't know if you can. That's only one watering. We'll see what happens. So we won't really know what it does till. We get a little farther into the game. Alright, and then I'll bring you into the Arise flower room here. And this plant here is the one that's on the week nine. This is yeah, week nine for this one here. Like any, everyone knows that's watching this one had issues, but see, it still grew buds. They're not the biggest buds. I haven't got the biggest buds off of this kind of, uh, this Arise yet. I don't think it's going to happen. I think this is just the way the genetics are. And it's all I got to clone off of, of this genetic. But this one's behind it. This plant here is behind the other one by a few weeks, maybe almost a month. I'd have to look up exactly when I threw it to flower. So this one's behind that one. And so this one's going to be almost ready to harvest here. This one shortly behind it. I'm going to be putting the lemon Jeffrey in. Starting to flower and maybe another one of the Arise plants so I can get this room more full. The only reason I only got the two plants is because I had one, one turn male, 
which possibly was a possibly could have clo accidentally cloned one of the male plants and got the numbers wrong because I had the cup I had the clones numbered and I had the plants numbered and uh, I may have somehow mixed one up I don't know how but it was possible and then uh, so I got to see if any of the ones left are male but I ended up with the male so that one I had to throw out and uh, some of the clones I know I took a bunch off the female plant, but there possibly still is a male one because I took clones off of this one here. So I'll be throwing out that those ones the flower with the lemon Jeffrey and see if there's any male plants. And if there is, they'll be getting rid of them. And uh, I don't think I'm going to try my hand at making any seeds yet. And then I'll get started on something else. But I'm. I got I hope this lemon Jeffrey uh, maybe outperforms these girls. I know they're uh, it, it's crossed with with a rise. And then if not, we're gonna go back to a different type of grow. But these ones are starting to look a little nicer. But this one's getting to the end. I haven't really been checking it with the jeweler's loop or anything. And, Just because I know it's going to last one I brought out to, what, I harvested on the 10th week, which was 70 days. And the stuff is really good. There's no doubt about that. Just doesn't have no big buds like the other plants that I've grown. This, this one was small, then we're going through the COVID, and I had... It didn't seem like it was hitting my plants. I had issues germinating the seeds, but that's because they were older seeds. They were like a year old, and uh, for some reason they didn't really want to germinate. So we'll see what happens if I can get something else going. And But I'll be harvesting this one in a week or two. So this one will be going to harvest. This one still has got a couple weeks on it, but as soon as I put this one to harvest, I may, if the Lemon Jeffries are big enough yet, put them to flower. So we'll see what happens. Alright everybody, that's it for today in the grow. And I'll be back tomorrow with some more video. Alright, today in the grow... We're going to be doing some transplanting. I'm going to transplant the, the lemon Jeffrey into a radical bag and a smart pot. Because i got two plants that need transplanting. We're going to use the ocean forest and the happy frog soil. That's what they're growing in right now. We'll see how things go from there. I may be... Trying to swap out this soil too. I'm going to do one thing at a time. I know I changed things over to the nectar for the gods. See how that does. We'll just see what difference it makes. And then I, I may be trading out this soil just to, you know... Get a whole new uh, thing going on. I got them plants yellowing too early on my previous grows. So I'm going to try to make some, keep making more changes till I can get things right. Okay, I filled up one of the fabric pots with uh, the happy frog. Filled it to the top. I'll dump that in here. And then I'll fill another one of these fabric pots with uh, Ocean Forest Fox Farm. And I'll put that in the radical bag. These radical bag, five gallon bags, are a little bigger than the uh, smart pots here, the fabric pots. So, so uh, it leaves a little room for the plants that are already potted in plants, or potted in the... Uh, you know, in the pots, there's already some soil, you know, with them. So it'll make a little more 
then if I fill this to the top twice, it'll be just probably enough for both plants, including the soil that they're already planted in. So I'm going to dump this in there, fill another one, dump that in, and mix her on up. All right, I filled up this pot with some uh, Fox Farm Ocean Forest. I got Happy Frog in the bottom. I'm going to mix them all together. They already have perlite in them, so I'm not going to be adding any of the perlite in with these ones. That could be part of the problem too. Too much perlite, not enough soil. So we're going to mix these two together, 50-50 about. And then we'll be transplanting the girls. Okay, I mixed the two up really good with my hands, stirred it all around, broke up all the the clumps of uh, stuff that were in there because sometimes it compacts and gets stuck together in the clumps. And So break all them up and stir it all up and then I'll be putting that in this five gallon fabric pot first and uh, get a plant going in it. So I put my soil into the pot. I had a smaller pot that I inserted in there. Then I fill it up with soil all around that pot. Lightly compact it. And then see I got a nice spot to put the new plant in. Here's the Lemon Jeffrey plant that I got ready to be put in this uh the new five gallon pot, that's what I meant, not new plant, new uh, new pot and new soil for it. A bigger pot, it's only in a one gallon now, going into the five. Okay, we got it out of the one gallon pot. See, it's got lots of nice roots on it. And we're going to take it and put it in this one right here. There we go. I flipped her down into the five gallon. I know the pot I had in it was a little big. So we're going to put some of the soil in. Down around the pot. Tuck it in and then we're going to throw some more soil in on her. Get a little better view in there. I seen I had a little roots coming up on the... They're actually showing out of the ground there. So I'll fill that in a little bit. And we're going to get its new spot ready, or the spot ready in the veg tent. I got to go get a little base for it to catch the excess water for watering and get it set up on there. We'll get her over into the, to the veg tent. Phones are ringing. Gotta take the phone call. So you have it all planted up into the five gallon pot here. We're gonna go bring it over into the veg tent and I'll show you what I got. The little stands I bought. Them little stands at Walmart. They actually, that's a 14 inch uh, like uh whatever you put on the bottom there to catch the water 14 inches that i got at the local gardening store or like menards type store then i got at walmart the little stand that keeps it up off the bottom so when the water does go out the bottom it's just not sitting in it and sucking it back up so then you can suck that water out with whatever but that's where i'm gonna be putting her
Okay, we got the lemon Jeffrey in the five gallon pot. It's probably waist high to the top of that plant. And then I'm going to be taking this one, doing the same. And then it's going to veg in there till they go into the flower tent, which isn't going to be much longer. Alright everybody, pretty much seen how it goes, so that's it for today. I put a little label on the side, Lemon Jeffrey. I took the label off the other one, just stuck it on this one. Or, you know, off the other pot. So I'm going to get this plant done. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, some more updates. All right, we're back at the last day of this week of the grow. This is week nine for the Lemon Jeffrey scent seed. I did spray him with a little foliar spray today. So these are the Lemon Jeffreys popping up a little higher. They said I've been giving them some foliar started. Give, they gave them their first dose of uh, nectar for the gods nutrients so and I just transplanted them in the bigger pots so we'll give them a week or so to let them take to their new environment or their new uh, pots it's got fox farm soil in it so that's got nutrients also we'll see how things go all right, and then we're going to bring you over here to the Deer Eyes, which is on, which is his ninth week of flower. It is currently being flushed. Oop, let me turn the light off here. All right, I had to slip through there. Go in this door this time. Get a little better view. Okay, so we got this plant here, which is at the nine weeks. Currently flushing it out. Probably flush it one more time next week and <laughs> excuse me. Alright, uh flush this one more time next week and let it dry out and then I'll be chopping her down. Unless I see any improvement in growth. I see the buds are perking up a little bit this week over last so you never know we'll go by what it looks like but when you touch it, the buds it's really smelling good I looked at it it looks pretty much like it's all frosted up and uh, trichomes are all cloudy look at this other plant over here This one's a little younger, not quite ready yet. But when I do chop this one down here, when I chop this one down here, we will be uh, putting the lemon Jeffries in shortly after. So all right, that's uh, week nine, sent seed for the lemon Jeffrey and week nine for flower of this rice plant. All right, everybody.
Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question. And have a good one.